Good evening, class. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Miss Padilla, what are you wearing? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm at the Halloween party, ma'am. Sorry. How about you, Miss Evangelista? Where are you? Um, we're visiting the grave of my grandmother, ma'am. Uh, oh, you look tired, Miss Acosta. Um, sorry, ma'am. I just woke up po. So only Miss Elsa is prepared? I don't think you're taking my class seriously. Let's have recitation. So I'll call your name and you discuss what is on the slide. You start, Miss Chelsea Padilla. Define conjunctions. A conjunction is these are words that join together other words, um, um, places or classes. So this helps to avoid the chopping nature of several words, sentence to create a rich and elegant statement. So these phrases connected by co uh, conjunction should be um, parallel, share same structure. So serve as a bridge that um, connect, connect ideas. And there are three types of um, conjunction, with, which is uh, coordinating and um, correlative, elastic subordinating conjunction. That's all. Okay, so Ms. Andrea Acosta, discuss the first type of conjunction and its syntactic environment. The first type of conjunction, coordinating conjunctions. So coordinating conjunctions are used to join two parts of a sentence that are grammatically equal. So all, it always comes between the words or clauses that they join. So here is the acronym of the coordinating conjunctions. They are called fanboys. So for joining two words in coordinating conjunction, here is the syntactic environment. The determiner, which is optional, the noun, the conjunction, the determiner, which is also optional, the noun, the filler verb, and the adverbial phrase, which is also optional. So and then an example here is the, the tortoise and the hare race to the finish line. So the conjunction used here is the end. And the second one, joining two independent clauses. So for the syntactic environment, we have here the independent clause, and the middle is the conjunction, and another independent clause. An, ex an example here is I had a plan in mind, but the gang did not listen to me. So the position of coordinating conjunctions are always in medial. Next, Ms. Anshidi Evangelista, discuss the second type and the syntactic environment. Okay. The next type of conjunction is the correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions are used in pairs to join words, phrases, and clauses. As suggested by its name, correlative conjunctions correlate meaning it works in pairs to join phrases, words, and clauses that carry equal importance within a sentence. So here are some of the common examples of correlative conjunctions. Okay, now let's take a look at the syntactic environment of a correlative conjunction. When joining two nouns, the syntactic environment would be what is shown in the slide. In the first example, the program includes both students and faculty. The students and faculty are joined by the correlative conjunctions both and and in which they are in the medial and penultimate position. And in the next one, in joining two noun phrases, this would be the syntactic environment. We have the noun first and the verb and conjunction, which could be interchanged. The first noun phrase, the second conjunction, and the second noun phrase. It could be seen in the examples below. Sheena annoyed both her mother and her sister. He neither liked my hobbies nor my work. So in this example, it shows two negative options. So the neither and the nor. Okay, keep in mind that when using correlative conjunctions, always make sure to keep parallel structure intact. In joining two adjectives, we have the determiner, which is optional, the noun or the subject, and the verb as our filler, and their first conjunction, the first adjective, the second conjunction, and the second adjective. In the example below, she is both intelligent and beautiful. And in the second example, the trip was not only economical, but also pleasant. In these examples, we have the adjectives, I mean the conjunctions in the medial and penultimate position. And for the last one, we also use correlative conjunctions when joining two clauses. So the first one would be, the syntactic environment would be the first conjunction, the first independent or dependent clause, the second conjunction, and the second clause. The example below, we use either and or and as and so. So in the examples, examples below, we could see that the conjunctions are in the initial and medial position. That's all now. Lastly, Ms. Alcedo, the serel, 
return to discuss the third one and the syntactic environment. Okay, we are now down to the very last, which is the subordinating conjunction. So subordinating conjunctions are usually placed at the beginning of the subordinate class. Here are examples, after, although, as, because, before, how, if, once, since, then, that, though, till, until, when, where, whether, and while. SBC for short are used to join a subordinate dependent class to a main class. It actually introduces a subordinate class. However, SP or SBC can come after or before a main class. Here, joins an independent class and dependent class. See, for example, refer to the sentences below. We have the sentence number one. Michael has a new computer, although he still has his old one. Second example, the rain has been con continuous since this morning. So obviously, IT or independent class comes first. And a conjunction put in the middle of the two classes. And the latter part, we have here the opposite of the first illustration, which is conjunction of the very first, dependent class in the middle and dependent class at the last. Sentence one, although he has still his old one, Michael has a new computer. Second example, because I was thirsty, I drank a glass of water. So what comes first here is the conjunction although and because, followed by the dependent clause that was put in the middle, and then for the last one is the independent clause. So remember to always punctuate with a comma if the subordinate clause comes. So, okay, to conclude the discussion, conjunctions are used to connect ideas in order to create a full sentence. It is placed in between us depending on the type which was already discussed by your classmate. So now I will give you an activity. So, okay, I won't give you an activity anymore. I don't want someone pulling my leg while I'm asleep. So that's all for today. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, guys.